This is something that's happening across the US, but it's also happening across Europe, outside German Parliament at the moment. We're seeing it happen at the Sorbonne in Paris. It's a global element, but what's happening on the ground right now with you, Scarlett? Yeah, this is ground zero, Caroline, for the pro-Palestinian protests uh, sweeping across U.S. college campuses and around the world, as you said. About 11 hours ago, dozens of Columbia students entered Hamilton Hall, which is behind me here. They've unfurled banners. One says Free Palestine. On the other side, there's another banner in front of Hamilton Hall that says Intifada in red. As you mentioned, they've barricaded themselves inside. They're occupying the building. They've covered security cameras with black trash bags. And this is a building that is is, of course, a story because it has a history of student occupation. In 1968, students protested against the Vietnam War. In 1985, students took over Hamilton Hall to demand that Columbia divest from companies that do business in South Africa during apartheid. And it is from that that they take inspiration in making their demands this time around. Clearly, this is an escalation, Caroline and Ed, from the encampments that Columbia and Barnard students set up about two weeks ago out in the, on the South Lawn in front of Hamilton Hall. Hall uh, when yes. the president of Columbia, Manu Shafiq, testified before Congress. The school had given students a deadline of 2 p.m. Monday, yesterday, to clear the encampments. Some did, but clearly some had chosen to double down. Uh, Scarlett, real quick, what specifically they're demanding, I, I just don't get it. Yeah, what they're demanding is financial transparency when it comes to the almost $14 billion endowment that Columbia has, as well as divestment, divesting from Israeli companies and companies that do business with the Israeli government. Now, that's obviously easier said than done, given that endowments don't just invest in companies and bonds directly. They invest in private equity, hedge funds, hard assets. So it's difficult to untangle all of that.